No, I didn't get a new truck, but it feels like one because Natalie washed it. What did I do to be so lucky, Natalie? Everything. <laughs> so Natalie is going to join me on a test of the new Filmic Pro, so. Let's go enjoy some fall colors. Fresh fall foliage. Fresh fall foliage. And we're gonna go with the orange and magenta look today. Where's the orange? The leaves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness that cleared the truck. <laughs> I love this place, especially this time of year. It's supposed to be peak colors, but it looks like some of the Leaves have fallen, but regardless, it's gonna be a great opportunity to check out the latest by Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro really unleashes the power of your cell phone to give you the kind of feedback that you're used to with a DSLR or other professional camera. Now granted, it's not the same size sensor, but having this kind of flexibility to really customize your look is, is nice. <laughs> I know, it's not a red, it's not an Ari, but can your Ari or your red do this? wasn't even phased by that. I was hoping I would get more reaction from her. <laughs> so we're gonna wrap this up with a side-by-side -side comparison. Filmic Pro and the app, the stock app on the iPhone 11 to see if Filmic Pro is incorporating the high dynamic range from the, from the camera. So we've got the iPhone 11 Pro uh, local app running here and it looks like pretty much the same as it was with Filmic Pro. So that's a good sign. Filmic Pro has indeed resolved their highlight issues when the iPhone 11 first came out. But now that they've been able to integrate that HDR technology, that's looking pretty good.